Okay! Welcome, everyone, to the Phoenix Wright live stream. This is part two of the Ace Attorney playthrough. Hello, live viewers. Hello, VOD watchers. Uh, if you're a VOD watcher and you'd like to watch live, make sure you hit subscribe so you are notified of the future streams. Uh, first things first, as we always do, we're going to pull up the stream on the phone and make sure that we are actually live. We are. All right. Joy of joys. So at the end of the previous stream, we were in the middle of Turnabout Sisters. We did day one of, of the investigation and the courtroom. Now we are entering day two of investigation, which is going to require us to prove that May, April May, the pink girl in the thumbnail, uh, was not in her room at the time of the murder or something of that sort. We have to prove she's guilty. Uh, hello, Emily. Thanks for coming on in to the stream again. Good to see you. Hope you are doing very, very well. It's time to put on our thinking caps and get something going. September 7th. 3.11 p.m. The detention center visitor's room. So we're gonna be- Oh, that's right, she got arrested for tapping the, uh, tapping the telephone. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dark place like this. It's really quiet. Mo it's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not re- Oh, no, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask me then, huh? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Uh, let's uh, talk about that man. About the man who stayed with you in the hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. I want the wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, huh? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. But bottom? I can't tell. Do she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Okay, so we're gonna have to present her something. Um, we want to present some. I don't know. We can present the wiretap, I guess. Hey, guess what? Actually, I um really hate your guts. So get lost because I'm not cooperating. Thanks. I noticed. Okay, can we go back to the hotel room? We can. We want to get some evidence of the the guy. We need to show her that we know about the guy. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where a murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be a great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought... The murderer iced coffee. <laughs> Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same dream? You're getting a new Pokemon card graded. Hey, that's super cool. What uh, what Pokemon is on the card? Is it an old card or a newer card? I hope it comes back with a high grade for you. So you are our honored guest. Please let me know if I can bring you anything. Uh, talk about the man. I want to ask you about the man who's with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Huh. Okay. Interesting. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm sorry, I think the most suspicious person here is this guy. And talk about the hotel. Could you tell me about the hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as The Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. Subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. 
Whatever floats your tea set. Okay, I also realized I forgot to get water before I started the stream, so we're gonna have to do that at some point. Yo, the painting is gone. Huh? Looks like Grossberg is out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? I want to get this. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written on, on pencil in the back. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at those. Look at Exhibit A first. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. Alright. Perfect. So we have one photograph. We're going to take both photographs. This game seems really tough. Um. Oh. You know what? We'll take this photo for now. I don't think this game is necessarily... I mean, it, it can be tough. You just have to have, like, the right, uh, like, sort of, like, mindset to be in, I guess. You have to be in a puzzle-solving mindset. It's a puzzle game at the end of the day, but it's it's presented differently than, like, a standard solve-the-puzzle game. It's, like, all one big puzzle. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah. It was a painting of... I don't remember. I could not tell you. Fisherman. Wasn't it? Of it wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. Oh wait. Was it of sunflowers? Wait, is it gonna correct me if I'm wrong? No, it doesn't. Okay. So I think I need to talk to May. Um I need to talk to no, um I need to talk to I want to talk to uh Maya. Yeah, I want to talk to Maya. This, I think I want to take this picture instead. Swap photos. Okay. I want to take this picture of the man. Do I have the photo now? Yeah, okay. I want to take this photo of the man to the hotel. Because I want to get this checked by him. I'm pretty sure this is the man that was with May. April, May. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. No, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that it's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Sure, write the affidavit, man. Well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Here we go, great, we have an affidavit. Nice. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to move to the detention center and present the affidavit because she will know that she is uh, done for. What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy? Now I'm getting somewhere. Push her hard. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press will have a field day with his reputation. Ooh. Fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Huh. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White. Red White? President of the Inter Information Gathering Conglomerate Blue Corp. Red, white, information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Huh, this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red, white at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit was discarded. We just used that as um, Red White Blue Corp. Yep. He's a he's a real. Uh... Oh wait. Oh man, the other the other picture's gone. That's okay. He's he's a real American businessman. Oh, so we got caught by this. Other... Aha! You again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me. The trial. The trial. He was there. Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through Mia, maybe? It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. Huh? Uh, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I, well, I... 
I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you give me some information. The painting. The other day, I'm sure there was a big pretentious looking painting on the wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Ah, yes, well, I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. Ah, uh, er, sold it, you see? Yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I'd buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please, speak to more of that accursed painting. I didn't, I... Uh, uh, uh. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request to have her defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe we can find something that will inspire him to talk. Today's trial. You came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see? I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if poor thing, if things had gone poorly for that girl. If you're really worried about her, why don't you order offer to defend her? How have I been? I've been pretty great. Uh, let's see, I went on a nice walk with a friend today. It was cool. We walked like six or so miles, which was kind of a lot. Um, yesterday, I stayed up really late playing Minecraft. I just totally lost track of time, which was awesome. I haven't done that in forever. Um, so that was cool. And now I'm at state dinner recently, and now I'm, I'm here to play some more of this game. I'm having a blast playing this game too, so it's fun. How about you? What have you been up to? Hope you've been well overall. I think if we show him a picture of this guy, I feel like this guy is blackmailing him. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back at once. I'm sorry to have taken it without your knowledge, but I have to know. Who is this man? He was most likely in April May's room the night of the murder. <laughs> what, as you say? Uh, are you quite sure, my boy? What has him flustered, I wonder? Ah, I, I beg your pardon, pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. Huh? He's fallen silent as a stone. Rather large stone. I guess I should return the photo. Okay, great. That's all. Let's just leave. We'll go to Blue Corp. Okay. Was that the painting in his office from before? I don't know. It's number seven, Blue Corp Inc. CEO office. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name! What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenged. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Cool, I've been writing letters to celebrities and then I had some Belgian chocolate, which is the best, and took a little nap and now I'm here. Awesome, all cool things. Writing letters, I think is like a very lost art. So it's cool to hear that you're doing that. A lot of people are just like the emails or, or any, there's so many ways you can get in contact with people, but writing a letter is like a very personal thing. So, um, two thumbs up for you for uh, for going about that. All right, let's honestly let's present the affidavit. Oh, the affidavit's gone. Wait, that sucks. Okay, let's talk about Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock! It was her. What she has done? What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones! Stabbing them is not on her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But, I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss Maid into a, an escape, a, a scapegoat. Night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Huh, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. 
Lay things for my amusement. Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question! We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, we built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Shocker. Hope someone's taking notes on the origin of Blue Corp. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Uh, do you buy anything off of eBay? Um, I don't think I've ever bought anything off of eBay. I think my dad might have bought some, like, old, like, maybe like a PlayStation 2 or something off of eBay. Um, I don't think I've ever purchased anything off of eBay. Like, maybe 15 or so years ago, I remember watching an eBay auction for some, like, Legend of Zelda figurines, like some really old action figures of them, but I never ended up purchasing them. And in recent memory, I don't think I've ever gotten anything off eBay. Is eBay, is it like, uh, is that popular in, um, in Belgium? I think, I think you're in Belgium, right? I, I hope, hope I'm remembering that correctly. That'd be embarrassing if I wasn't. Let's ask about the painting. Uh, there's something that's bothering me. Yes, what might that be? A big painting on the wall over there. Where did you get it? Say, where did you get that painting? Hmm, no idea, I forgot. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting? Why did I find that painting here today? Oh, it's very popular. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, because there's some things like, uh, in different countries, like, there's different, like, ideal methods of, like, getting things. Like, in America, it's, like, obviously it's Amazon. Like, if you want to get something, you go to Amazon. Um, and then, like, secondhand things, I think generally it's, like, Facebook Marketplace is, like, the big one. But, um, I know in China, they have, Oh gosh, what is it called in China? Alibaba, I think. I think like AliExpress or Alibaba. That's like their kind of version of Amazon. I think it's also in Canada as well. It might be a little more international, but you know, there's all like sorts of different preferred methods of, of getting things. Mr. Wrong, was it? Timu? Oh, Timu's been... I've seen a lot of Timu as well. That one's been like rising up. Oh, I think Timu's more like a, like a wish.com kind of thing where it's like, Things that are supposed to be expensive, but they're very inexpensive, for better or worse. Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, Zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. But what? Uh, uh, oof, he's getting punched. He got beat up. He, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, huh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs? Yeah. Then you must ask him. Why is that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you? Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. All right, let's go talk with Grossberg. Timu's a scam, so don't trust them? I was, I was, I thought so. I think Timu is like sketchy on paper, but a YouTuber that I watched was like two or three million subscribers did like a Timu sponsored ad read. And I was like really shocked. I was like, that's kind of an odd thing to promote. I think I see them have commercials on TV as well, so they spend a lot of money on advertising, which is surprising because I guess, I don't know, maybe they're looking for like a short-term profit, like get as much money as they can in like a year and then dip, because I feel like people will realize that Timu is like not at all legitimate. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! Jumping Joseph hats! Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. We talked to Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Cobra a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir... 
There's a giant painting hanging right there the other day. Was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. <laughs> You're lovers? I don't think they're lovers. I think he's blackmailing you. Uh, what is the oldest thing you own? Because mine is a Coke bottle from 1906. That's pretty darn cool. First of all, I'm a big Coca-Cola fan. One day I'll buy a sign for Coca-Cola and just have like a sign in my room. The oldest thing I personally own. That's a great question. Nothing that old. Um, and nothing like... I have like a like a Zippo lighter, which was like used in the Vietnam War, but it's not like from the Vietnam War. I bought it. I got it as a birthday present this year, actually. But it's like the same style, but it doesn't have like any of the history associated with it. I think I'm like looking around my room trying to see if anything is like. I don't I don't know if I have anything like old. Yeah, I, I don't know if I have anything that's older than like. The 90s. Because I mean, the, I was like, I don't know, like an NES was like in the 80s. But I mean, nothing is like cool or as old as, as your bottle. Uh, he's, he's blackmailing you. That's what we're telling you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? <laughs> I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate? What's he talking about? You have an NES? Yeah, I, well, it's my father's NES, but yeah, there's an NES. It's cool. It's it's cool. I, we have a we have like a one of the old TVs too, like a CRT, so we can hook it up and do the uh, like the light gun games, like duck hunt and stuff. You've been dying to get one. They're pretty cool. If I mean, if you're just looking to play NES games, they did a handful of years ago, like the NES Cloud, or the Mini NES is what it was called, or NES Mini, something like that. That has a bunch of good games on it. Um, yeah, video games, I think, are, are pretty solid um, investments, I think. Um, okay, so Grossberg, sorry, I, I skipped over a few lines of text on accident. Grossberg uh, has been paying Blue Corp because they have information on him. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name of the back of the photographs. As you suspected, I cannot stand in defense of my because of this. Why it would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. He gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. The mini one nearly cost as much as a real one now? Dang, that's crazy. I mean, yeah, for that, ooh, one thing that's good about the mini NES, though, is it's HDMI output. Because the old NES, you have to figure out how to hook that up to, a, like, a modern TV. But you have so much more variety with the, the regular NES. Like, you can get a real cartridge. Although, mini NESs are very moddable. You can put, like, USB sticks with a bunch of different games on it, so. Pros and cons to each. What? They are bound. They will do harm to themselves, and therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. So what's DL6? What is DL6? DL6 is nothing more than a sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay, Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of any wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. You want to get a GameCube? GameCube is my favorite console that Nintendo has ever made. I don't think it's my favorite console ever, because I have a lot of good memories with the PlayStation 4, playing with my friends in high school. Um, but GameCube has some of the most solid games Nintendo has ever made. Mario Sunshine, fantastic. Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, great Zelda games. Uh, Pokemon XD and uh, Colosseum are both great Pokemon games. Animal Crossing started on the GameCube. I think that is one of the... Oh, and the controller was phenomenal as well. All around, I think, a great, great console. Um, that case is the DL6 incident. A reason for blackmail. Why are you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? 
video sex incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. The only, only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Alright, sounds good. We're going back to Mia's office. GameCube controller is better than the N64 controller. 100% agree. The N64 controller was super unique because they were trying to set up like all sorts of um, like different control schemes. They wanted you to have the ability to use the D-pad or the control stick, but the GameCube did that so much better. Uh, it's funny looking at the room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All right, we need to examine the telephone. Mia's desk, perfectly clean as always. The only thing is it's missing Mia. Painting, or there's a plant. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. No clues here. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed in here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Uh, A through I? Let's see if there's a, a record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F, Misty Faye. That's Mia and F Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Yes. The only Nintendo console I own is the Game Boy Advance SP. That's a good one too. Game Boy Advance had a lot of good games. Minish Cap was a good Zelda game on there. There was a lot of good RPGs, if you're into RPGs. Uh, obviously Pokemon. Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Uh, the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is on there. What consoles do I have? Hooked up to my setup right now, I have my Nintendo Switch and my PlayStation 4. And then I use my PC for a lot of games. But I have a Nintendo Wii. I actually have two, yeah, two Nintendo Wiis that aren't hooked up to my setup. I have a GameCube that isn't hooked up to my setup. I have a console called the Retron 5, which allows me to play NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, all through HDMI, which I use to capture my uh, my um, Pokemon Emerald Let's Play. I, I use that console to capture Emerald. Um, I think that's all I have set up in here. But outside of this room, because I have like the room that I record in, and then in the rest of the house, there's like a whole bunch of other stuff. And the other room of the house, there's pretty much one of every mainstream console in in this in my house. Um, they're just not really like hooked up or used super often. So like those those are the main ones that that I cycle through pretty often. I have tarnished the Fey name, leaving only these words: "My mother vanished." I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that I runs my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm. The record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Also, Mia used her psychic powers. My favorite console is the Xbox 360. I played a fair bit of Xbox 360. Not as much as I did PlayStation 3, but I did Minecraft on the Xbox 360 every once in a while. I also did a lot of like the Xbox Live Arcade stuff. Uh, cause you could get like Banjo Kazooie was on Xbox Live Arcade. Um, I had a Kinect as well that hooked up to that, which was, um, fun. The Kinect was kind of fun. I'm going to skim this. Okay, wait. Um, oh, there's writing on most of these in pencil. White, this is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all. Oh. So we're trying to to pawn off these deaths onto White. No way. We're gonna check the T to Z file as well, just cause T, U, I know, W, White. Huh? The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Oh, it was. Okay. So, detention center? Apparently Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. 
Okay. Hmm, the bellboy seems to be out. Huh? The sound of water coming from the shower. La di da, money making, money making. I got the money making blue. Someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. Is there anything worth examining here? Ah, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those hanging on the wall. I checked in here already. The screwdriver's still stuck in the drawer. Still got the bottle. Okay, still have the window and the bed. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in here. Uh, va a vase as expected. I'm not good with flower names. So maybe Okay, there's nothing in here either. What console should I get next? Like any version of a console like the Star Wars Xbox 360. Ooh. Man, well, I, I think it honestly depends on like what kind of games you like. Like if you're really big into like first person shooters, then buying a Nintendo Switch like wouldn't be the best thing to do. And obviously if you like really like platformers and buying an Xbox would be the best thing to do. If you're just asking like what kind of consoles I think are cool, like I think there's a lot of cool Nintendo Switches. Um, but I, only, I have like the very first Nintendo Switch. I got the Nintendo Switch March 4th of 2017 when it first came out. So my Nintendo Switch is like basic, basic, but there's a lot of cool, like, um, like custom, not custom, but like, I guess tie in versions of consoles, promotional versions, um, especially like, oh man, I remember they, they released a Kingdom Hearts three PlayStation, a PlayStation four that was themed after Kingdom Hearts three. That was so cool, but you'd have to be like a huge Kingdom Hearts fan to buy that, especially if you already owned a PlayStation console, like get a second one. Um, I don't think I've, I've actually, I was going to say, I don't think I've ever done that, but I do have the two, uh, Nintendo 3DSs that were Zelda releases. There's the 3DS XL that's was released with a link between worlds. And then there was a standard 3DS that was released, I think is like a 15th, 20th anniversary thing. Yeah. There's an anniversary 3DS for Zelda that I have. And um, another 3DS that's like a promotional one. I have both those. Those are pretty cool. So I guess that's like the one generation or not the one, the one franchise that I would buy a, a console for or if they ever did a Minecraft one. Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Uh, I guess I should present the newspaper clip. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me, Hal. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word, white. Mr. White, I know that you did this to this politician. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and forcing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation! Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right. I should be finding the person who killed Mia. It's him. Do you also have a first edition Pokemon booster box? I do not. I, I think I might have like a handful of like older Pokemon cards, but nothing as old as, as first edition. Those would be, uh, gosh. I remember back in like 2020, everyone on Twitch was into opening old Pokemon cards and, and the market like boomed for a while. You're absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tap her phone. Then Mia was murdered. And all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Beep. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort from Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. 
I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The exec- the executioner! The hatchet man! The liquidator! The killer man! What? Mr. White, this is another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Oh, he's trying to make us seem like we did it. Um... Uh, I've been trying- dying to get an old- at least one old Pokemon pack from 1999. I'm pretty- you can get them, like, sealed and graded. Like you can get a card. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd imagine they'd be pretty pricey. Imagine a child solves this case. Hey, it's easy- it's Phoenix Wright thinks it's a child could solve it. Although, honestly, we are just about to get, uh, framed for murder. And I think we might need an actual adult to do this one. <laughs> because this is about to get very intense, I think. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you'll be trialed as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they couldn't even make you look competent. I... I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe, reporting sir! Ah, Butts, Harry Butts! Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. My friend's name is Larry? Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? what Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Yeah, we're getting framed for murder. That's fine, though. I will represent myself in court. Phoenix Wright representing himself. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on it. in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. No, not Edgeworth. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Huh. Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it! How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you! This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me. Is there anything I can do? Um, well... Help me break out of here. Should we do a jailbreak? Carmaine, welcome in to the stream. Edgy wedgy indeed. Edgeworth. I liked Edgeworth. I thought Edgeworth was like a... Uh, defend me in the court. I, li I liked Edgeworth. I thought Edgeworth was like cutthroat, but like good at heart. He's in on it now. He's, he's getting bribed. All right, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. All right. Huh? Leave it to me. I am Mia's sister after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. Wasn't it ghost powers that ran in your blood? I'd better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. What? wait 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding, it was a joke. No way! No really, I was kidding. But thanks, it's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've gotta give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Edgeworth is the voice of reason? You think so? You think Edgeworth is, is the, the needle in the haystack of evil? The good needle in the haystack of evil, I should say? Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. I think Edgeworth actually defends you. He was a defense attorney in the school trial. Oh, really? Wait, no way, that'd be hype as heck. If Edgeworth actually defends me, that would be two thumbs up. Edgeworth would be a sick... Dude, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Oh my gosh. So, Karamane, are you a... I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. Are you like a, like a big Phoenix Wright fan? Because this is my first time playing the games. I know like the characters... I don't know much about each one, but like I know Phoenix Wright, I know Edgeworth, I know Maya and her weird clothes, but like that's, I know Gumshoe as well, but that's about like all I know. I don't know too much about the individual trials or anything, so. Nope, never played it? Oh, awesome. 
Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so this is, we're all, all, everyone in the chat right now and me, we're all going in like totally cold. So it's super, super cool. Welcome in on the, 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 the crime solving adventure with a true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. I think I thrive in the courtroom personally. I think the little investigation segments, they're kind of like a little slow to me. Um, but I'm, I'm a big fan of, uh, of the courtroom stuff. You watch some cutscenes and some trials. I remember watching someone stream a Phoenix Wright game like seven years ago. Um, it was like something about a movie set, but I don't remember anything about it at all. But here we go. All right. Here we go. We are being sued, ladies and gentlemen, but we are going to persevere. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, F Phoenix, look. Oh boy, Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Hmm? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it'll be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I'll have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What, what does White have a judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is to get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. F Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? She's shocked. Okay, let's do this. Seems like he's mentally against it, but a job's a job. I yeah, it seems like he's reluctant. We we can I mean we can read it how we want to read it. At the end of the day, he is benefiting from this, like, absolute monopoly of, of information over every member, judge, jury, and executioner of this. But it does seem like he doesn't necessarily want it. Um, what's your opinion on the Friends TV show? I watched, I think, the first season, and I didn't really enjoy it too much. I had just watched How I Met Your Mother, which was one of my favorite shows of all time. And I was kind of chasing that uh, kind of a show. And so I went to Friends off of a recommendation of one of my friends. And I didn't super enjoy it. I've heard it gets better in the second season. Like, my friend was like, dude, just skip the first season. I was like, no, you can't skip the first season. Um, but yeah, mixed opinion for me. Uh, the defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of this event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Ezra why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Huh, if anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. I feel like we shouldn't raise the objection. I think we, we want to maintain as much of a composure as we can. Forget it. I smell a trap. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. You wanna see if you can old Pokemon pack off eBay? Best of luck. Best of best of luck. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Oh, he's shiny. Er, uh, your name? Yes, that's what I said. Oh dear. Do my locate locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. White boy? I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem. Why I tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world when I'm the last man standing? Ho oh, ho ho ho! He is shiny. Hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Huh? Let him have it, Phoenix. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, witness testimony for anyone who doesn't know is where we have to read their statement of the facts, their facts, and poke holes in their argument. So we need to read very carefully and see if we can't call out any lies, inconsistencies, discrepancies, anything of that nature with the evidence that we have. So here we go. His witness account. Let's see. It was about nine o'clock, I believe. That's fine and factual. It was, I was quietly perusing, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look out the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. Okay, boom, this is it. This is the issue right here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the issue. We know this is false because the bellboy said he was delivering coffee to Miss May exactly at this time. So there's the statement. There's our statement. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Okay. Finally, there was a terrible impaction, then it was all over. Five original Pokemon boxes for a hundred bucks. Dang, that's, that's almost too good to be true. That's, that sounds crazy. Hmm, if things occurred as you say, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. All right, we're beelining straight for the inconsistency, because we know it. Here we go. Um, uh, I called Miss May over at once. We're going to present... Um... Okay, we're gonna put, we're gonna press this. We're gonna press this. What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know that she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the, the, the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the, uh, the phone on this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho ho ho! I know! After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Wait, I... I... I know the weakness. Can I not call out? All right, we'll press on everything, I guess. How do you know what time it was? Because I'm always abso-posa-lutely abso perfect, you know? You're so happy? Well, congrats, congrats, congrats. Remember, coffee to May at the time. Perfect, yes. Thank you, Carmaine. You got it. You're, you're on it. We have our... We've got our note taker in the chat room. Yeah, coffee to May at nine. That's going to be key, I bet. If we can get something with the bellboy to correlate. Anyway, yeah, you're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, oh, Miss May ordered room service. Ah, darn. He's, he's putting it in his story. Miss May ordered room service for nine o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said too. Keep going, press further, press on him. True, the bellboy who brought coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at that time. Ahem, this is your concern? Silly lawyer, this may receive the coffee from outside the room. Of course you could not see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at that time? I was quietly, uh, oh. Quietly perusing, that's reading some papers by the window. Just keep pressing everything. By window, you mean the one directly across from the Fay Co. Law Offices? Correct, that is the only window, you see. And there, you were reading... Papers? Correct! The Gatewater is businessman's hotel! And I am busy- I'm a busy man who had business to do. We'll keep pushing everything, but it, he's, it seems solid so far. A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprise, I turned to look at the building across the way. So you were reading the papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of windows at night. No Snoop? Yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. I'm gonna get a glass of apple juice and an apple to eat. Inspired by my username, no, no doubt. Apple time! I hope you enjoy those. Uh, so spiky-haired? Wait, we're really- we don't have anything so far? What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. And whose sight is the judge on anyway? And what did you do then? Called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised. 
What was Miss May doing at the time? Oh yeah, just finished watching the soap opera. We already read this one. Okay. The victim, she she ran away, but she gave chase. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked uh, by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Okay, this this I can push. Because... Because May testified the exact opposite. Boom, there we go. Music cut out, we're good. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Huh? <laughs> Very strange. I didn't see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really, really did see the victim run left. So, did he witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. May says right. Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Okay, hold on. Both are right. He was in the room. She was outside of the room. Guys, so if you look at the computer screen right now, or your phone or tablet or whatever, right? Right now, the judge is directly in front of you. Your right is the judge's left. So they're both right. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. Edgeworth is laughing. Huh, I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. Perspective, exactly. You got it, Rupee. You got it. There's one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Exactly, perspective. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices, Faye and Co, of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. Here. He was the killer. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Yeah, I know, Edgeworth. Order, I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this court will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R -r -rap scallion. The, pros the postulations of the defense are distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem bit, a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I've been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Alright, new witness testimony, new things we have to call out. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Uh, I remember I have an autopsy report that says that's wrong. Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Let me make sure I actually still have that, uh... Uh... Do I still have autopsy report? Died from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait. Um... I'm just going to push everything first. I'm going to press everything, and then we can figure out what we what we present. What do you mean by that? That is what I am about to explain. You Americans are always so impatient. It does not become you. Hey, buddy, you're an American too. When you assaulted the girl, you first ran to the left. 
What do you mean first? First, that is what comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? Please, sit back, relax. I'll try to use simple words for your benefit. First, she ran to the left. And then... And then we hit her. Apparently. I didn't hit anyone! Now, now, Mr. Wright, there's no point hiding things from the courts. I'm not hiding anything. The prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Why is he mad at me? Uh, here we go. What do you mean next? Next is what comes after first. I know that. You have Uno. You have Uno on the Xbox. Then that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. Stop saying it was me. But it was you. Mr. Wright, if you claim that it was not you, then show us proof. Uh, can I do nothing right? Nothing? May I continue? This is what Miss May saw. Is it? So, each of you saw different parts. abso posit lutely That's right, of course. Where did you pick up that annoying phrase? Anyway, moving along. You see, you hit her twice. I think we have to present the autopsy on this one. So were you watching both times? I suppose I was. And please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. What do you mean by that? Miss May's testimony was right as it. That's what I'm- Oh wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, so we loop back around. Um... With the last of her strength, she ran right, each haster and delivered the final blow. Died from a blow by a blunt object and may have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Um... Victim dodged an attack and ran to the right but was caught and struck. Do we try the autopsy? Alright, we're gonna try the autopsy report. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try- Wait. Um... I don't know what... Yeah, I don't know what I would present the autopsy report. Um, what else do we have? The badge is useless. The autopsy report died from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. The phone's not going to help here. Glass shards doesn't seem it's going to be useful. Statue, wiretap is for something else. The receipt... This could be another thing. But no, that wouldn't, be, that wouldn't make any sense. We already used the May testimony. I don't know. I, th I think... The first hit was dodged? Wait. When you assaulted the girl, you ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That's what I saw. Should I... I'll present the autopsy for this one. Use the testimony. The victim dodged and attacked- Oh! Hey, you're right! Let's see if that one works. Your Honor! That uh, statement contradicts this evidence. It does- Uh, I used the wrong one. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I- See, the thing is, is sometimes you have the right evidence, wrong, and then you hit her savagely. This is what I need to present it to. I think. No. He doesn't like this either. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... First ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. Should I try the autopsy here? I'm gonna try the autopsy here. Nope, it's not the autopsy there either. Okay. Uh, so you have to get the right statement and the right evidence. With the last for strength, she ran to the right. Should I try the autopsy here? There. We had the right evidence, wrong statement. You have to match them perfectly. We got it. It's okay. We got it through. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. Huh? What do you have to say to that? Uh, er, now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. Wright, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Mm -hmm. I will refrain from using the phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony... The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten-minute break. Yes, yes, White. 
Oh, we're, we're counter-objecting. The witness is confused because he's lying. I empathetically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony, the crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Uh, okay. All right. Third witness testimony. Here we go. We have to a whole new set of things to break through. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Wow. Hmm. Wap indeed. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. Huh? Alright, so... I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What other window? Does he- There's no other window. You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, that- the uh, uh, glass light stand. Right. The one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yes. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White! Huh? What? what You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry my bad. The witness will advise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Alright, this is where we present the floor plans. If you look at the angle of the floor plans, it's impossible to see the light stand. Objection! That one was easy. That one was so self-explanatory. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this! These are the floor plans, the scene of the murder, yes? Yep. Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you'd be able to see. Here. Well, know that this stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? Yeah, your stomach doesn't matter here. Just hold on until you're in jail, and you use the bathroom when you're in jail. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Uh, er, right, ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized those broken shards as a glass stand. So, what did you, where, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell, and the only place you could have seen it from is inside the Fay Law Office. In other words, you are at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Yeah! Man, they get so angry when they get called out for their lies. They get all insane. Oh, he's sobbing now. Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get a, our verdict. Edgeworth, stay out of this. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What, what? Oh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Who forgets about Edgeworth? He commands every room he's in. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? What? What? Is Edgeworth flipping sides? Is Edgeworth team swapping? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. No! Edgeworth! Stop being a good lawyer! Oh my god. Who gave this guy the right to be a good lawyer? He's, he's pulling a Saul Goodman, dude. He's getting his sentence reduced by putting him out for a lower charge. The, the wiretap? He's replacing the murder charge with a wiretap charge because it's a lower degree. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Faye. Dang, it's it, he's putting his job before a good thing to do. He's he's got like he has like a Saul Goodman complex where he's really really good at his job, but he does it for the wrong people. He's doing it for the wrong people. If he just used his powers for good, he'd be such a good lawyer. Man, regardless, he's he's a smart legal mind. We have to give him that. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, 
When was the wiretap placed in the office? And by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? C correct You are most correct, Miles! Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Faye and Cole offices! That is when I saw that accursed light stand! Gosh darn it. Now I'm confused! Please explain to the court what that all means, Mr. Edgeworth! Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would have you believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see! However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been into the office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright theory is revealed for baseless conjecture! It's not baseless conjecture. How dare you, Edgeworth! Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Okay, so now we have to call out the wiretapping somehow. Ahem, leave it to me. I... I feel faint. The wiretap. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fane Cole offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. It's a four sentence... It's a four sentence testimony. There is no way there's anything wrong with that. Hmm, so you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify when it had fallen over? By the sound? Correct, that is right. I see, very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Ah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Oh my lord. It was the beginning of September the week before the murder. When did the murder take place? Can someone give me any sort of timeline? Whatever, let's press everything. D do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proof that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, right. I had entered the Fang Cole offices. Was it really you that went to the office, or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fane Cole offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already running a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went into the Fane Cole offices. To place the wiretap, he says. Why did you tap me his phone? This has no bearing on your current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client conf confidentiality. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautitious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Dang, there's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled on enough that I can bluff something out of him. What? I, I have these four options? What's up, you haven't called in a while? There's actually something I want you to hold on to me. What is it this time? It's a clock. I made it from such thinker. Tells the time. I should probably tell you the clock's not talking right now. It's not working. It's lame. It's pick the clock up. Put some papers inside it. Papers it evidence then. I'll leave it to your imagination. See you tonight at nine. I have no clue what to push on. He saw the glass though, and then he heard it break as his is his uh, testimony. I have absolutely no clue what to push on here. I, um, oh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Tsk, tsk. I'm afraid that's all as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not giving up. Phoenix! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. M -m Mia? Oh, did we faint? We fainted. <laughs> we fainted! Where, where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, finally awake. Ah! We fainted again. 
Hey, Phoenix! Jack? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Oh, she's using her spirit powers! J your M Maya? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough to awaken the shock of Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia. That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. Huh? But, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court records, right? Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix. White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item... Glass light stand. Data purchased September the 4th. She bought it after he was in it. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? He saw it a week ago. It was beginning of September the week before the murder. Okay, so I couldn't have won this without this hint. I wonder if this is actually a hint or if this is like program that you have to fake lose. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think that court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent, now you just have to prove it. Right, receipt updated. Okay, guys, we got a gosh darn heaven sent beyond the grave 11th hour piece of evidence that we can bring into the court, tie it all together. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant, rather, are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, your honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. Your honor, there was nothing to get back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. You think it's programmed? I feel like it is too, because there's no way you would know the receipt at all. Um, okay, so do I present... There we go. Present the receipt. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The... The other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fainco Law Offices the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Qua! Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Huh? Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Objection! Edgeworth, stop talking. Stop talking, Miles Edgeworth. Oh, you love to hate him. I mean, you hate to love him. You, he's the best and the worst at the same time. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Huh? What? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry to this matter. Hmm! Another inquiry. This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. We're gonna- we're, we're on the straight and narrow. We need to gain points with the court. We're gonna wait. Hmm. I don't know where he's going with this. I better hold back for now. I see. Very well. As there is no objection from the defense, I grant Mr. Edgeworth his extra day. Uh-oh. The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No! There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with, or just make up something. 
and after Mia showed up to help me and all. Wait, no, 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 that's fine. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Gah! The witness will stay. M Mia. Phoenix, read this note aloud. Mia, what's this? The game's like not letting me fail. That's so funny. I, yeah, I wanted more investigation time. Karame knows what's up. I wanted more investigation time. I wanted to dig more up. Because we can... There, whatever, we're ending it here, I guess. Your Honor, if I may... You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read aloud to the court. Mia's memo. A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Okay. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. So, so stop! Deceased! Halt! P please stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I... I confess. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Dude, we got... We got ghost lawyered. <laughs> without the ghost lawyer, we would have lost this. <laughs> we would have lost this three times over without the ghost lawyer. Well, I see no reason to continue the trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem. Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Edgeworth, you failed us. Back from the dead to save you. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, she... she... that was a stellar channeling by Maya. And Edgeworth, it's some, he's got to change after this, after this case. This case has to be like a landmark turning point, brand new page for Edgeworth, because he, he, was, he was scummy in this case. That is all. This court is adjourned. Uh, Caramane. Okay, perfect. Thank you for correcting me. Appreciate it a lot. Caramane. Got it. I will not forget it. I'll commit it to memory. Perfect. Thank you for correcting me. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again, but congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Mai on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. But what? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! September 9th, 9.02pm at the law offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia! I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M mia Wahahaha! -ha -ha. You should see your face! Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! M maya What, did I look like my sister? Look like? You were her! Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help you with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Fay, reporting for duty. Wait, no, on second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business. You... don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what that means? We're partners! You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in co-law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah, thanks, Maya. Oh, that's so wholesome. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a-wasting. Okay, wait up! I guess Mia's on a vacation? <laughs> Mia is coming back from the spirit world somehow. Um, but there we go!
Oh, I don't want to start this. I don't want to start this. I don't want to start this. We don't have time to start this. Yes, we'll update our save file. Here we go. All right, so that's Turnabout Sisters. So as a summary of Turnabout Sisters, Mia was killed. Maya was framed. We proved that May. Thank you, uh, Janira Gonzalez for subscribing. I don't know if that's from the stream or from a YouTube video, or from a YouTube short. But thanks for subscribing nonetheless. Um, okay. Anyway, Mia died. Mia was killed. Maya was framed for Mia's death by a girl named May. May says Maya killed Mia. None of that was true. Because through our investigation of May, we found out about White. White tried to frame Wright, but Wright was able to help with Mia and Maya to show that Wright was not the one who killed Mia. It was White. And I hope to all that's holy, episode three turned about samurai will not have so many confusing names. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good place to leave it off because um, we get to start episode three next stream and hopefully we'll be able to start and finish episode three uh, next stream. So May is the culprit of the next one, I think. Oh, I don't know if she would become. I think she's in jail right now. She's in jail uh, right now. For um, uh, the wiretapping. She got convicted of the wiretapping on day two of that last investigation. And then day three was when we convicted White as well. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good place to, to stop Phoenix Wright. Um, play more games, same stream. Actually, yeah, we could. That's, that's a good point. We could just not play Phoenix Wright anymore. We could play something else. Hold on. I'm going to. Close Phoenix right, yeah. All right, I'm gonna close Phoenix right, and I'm gonna reopen it. I guess though. I have something to show. Okay, what do we want to do? Because I well, I was just gonna end the stream because you know we can do episode three next time. See, for it's weird on YouTube. I feel weird like on Twitch when I used to stream on Twitch. It'd be like super normal for me just to like, um, just like switch games. But for YouTube, because you have to title it and it's saved as a video, I kind of like to have everything be like one, um, one whole stream. So I, th I think we're going to end it here. Next stream that I play this game, I think I'm going to stream a different game next time. I kind of want to play Planet Coaster. Um, but next stream, we, we play Phoenix Wright. We will hopefully do all of Episode 3, all of Turnabout Samurai. Um, and that'll probably be another night stream, maybe like Monday night? Uh, like 8 PST. So um, be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I think I'm going to end things off here. Um, stream again today. Well, for me right now, it's nighttime. So I will stream probably Sunday, which is a few days away. But like Sunday, maybe in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, all right. So we're going to end things off here. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, VOD watchers, thanks for watching the VOD. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to catch more streams in the future, make sure you sub. And um, yeah, that's about all. I'll catch you guys all back here next time. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the views. Uh, who was here? Today? I always like to call my viewers at the end of a stream. Um, who was here? Rupi Hyrulean, of course, was here. Uh, Karamain was here. Thank you for watching. Emily was here. Thank you. And we also, I feel good like someone else as well. Maybe not. That's everyone? Cool. All right. That's everyone. Ladies and gents. All right. Catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.